There's so much negativity out there today. People are conditioned to be negative. And part of that is the media. The more the media can paint a picture that you and I need to be mad at each other, the more they win. The reason why I got turned on to cigars was when I was in the Marine Corps. It was a morale booster for us. I just carried it ever since. If we came back from a mission, our commander gave us a cigar. We came back from patrol, no, no casualties. That's why I smoke a cigar, kind of debrief, unwind. I think we're going to be affecting a lot of policy in our local government. I think we're going to be affecting a lot of policy in the national from affecting the White House. Why? Because we're injecting capitalism into our communities. Certain areas of our community where they have not gotten insurance or cash. I mean, look at Christian Ortiz. He injects capitalism into the south side of Chicago, Chirac. Delivers two death benefits in a year and a half of being a life insurance agent. We are injecting capitalism. See, here's what happens when people don't have something to fight for. Instead of worrying about my hustle, I want to take yours. If I'm caught up in my own hustle, building my thing, I'm not worried about your stuff. Matter of fact, I want to help you. That's what capitalism has allowed me to do. I love capitalism. What I don't like is greed that, that causes people to steal from one another. What's the alternative? Socialism? Who doesn't know the major difference between capitalism and socialism? So, so for example, we're out in school. Imani gets an A because she studied. All of us, guys, did we study for a test? <laughs> Probably not. The teacher says, Amani, listen, DJ Cell, he's busy DJing to make a living. You know, Matt's got his issues, you know, Musgrove, you know, on the streets of South Central LA, you know, we got to help these guys out. So Amani, they failed their exam. Would you mind if we take your A, drop it down to a C, to raise their Fs to a C? You do mind, because you study for your test. But it's a socialistic ca uh, a classroom. So your A becomes a C now. You're like, what happened? Second test we take. Are you motivated to take the test a second time? Probably not. And guess what you get in your exam this time around? You get a C. We still don't change your behavior. And guess what we get? We get an F. So your C becomes a D, our F becomes a D. Third time around. Do you really want to study for your test? Forget it. You get an F, we get an F, we all fail. Socialism. Because it's not fair for the person that's doing all the work to help support the people who aren't willing to do the work. Now, do I believe in giving back and helping People, of course, so the capitalists follow. Capitalists follow uh, having a foundation. These athletes, they have a foundation to feed the needy, help the poor, help people with disabilities. American Cancer, that's a nonprofit. You fund a foundation. Uh, Bill Gates, what does he, he fund in finance? He gives a million dollars a day to help a nonprofit. Why? Because he's a capitalist. Is he still giving back? Of course he is. How do you brand yourself? You gotta figure out what type of values you wanna stand for. What experience that when people come through me online, in my office, offline, online, what type of experience do they want from me? because that's what I stand for. So you gotta understand when you're branding yourself, do two things. You're going to naturally attract people that buy into that brand. The other opposite to that too, repel people from that brand. They just may not be down for it. And usually it's how you make people feel. It's not things that you say, although that's important. Not necessarily color schemes, all that's nice. How do people feel? I'm always conscious of my office. When I walk into my office, how is the vibe, not for me, but how is the vibe for the brand new person coming into my office for the very first time? I'm always conscious of that. That's part of the brand. From a social media standpoint, do I have consistency visually with my brand all across social media? What type of communications am I sharing with my brand? By the way, a brand is both done online and offline in terms of behavior. Like I can't be a silent alcoholic. I can't be a silent womanizer. I can't be sit here running game, think I'm gonna get away with it. And what do we learn in this day and age? We might get away with it for now, but what, what do we learn in this day and age? In this social media world? Yeah, that's how I'm always conscious about where I'm at and who's, video, who's, who's recording me. Like for example, uh, one of the young ladies in my, in my office said, Matt, I qualify for cigar lunch, can I drive your car? No problem. And here I'm thinking, I'm, I'm completely innocent about it. Yeah, no problem, okay, jump, you, you drive. I get in a passenger seat, <gasps> time out. Yo, take my spot, I'll see you guys at the cigar lunch. Gabby, don't crash. Because I don't want to be caught in a car, not being my wife, and somebody puts it on Twitter, it could be completely innocent, but now they put a meme on it. I don't want to get caught up that way. You view people as a leader in your own frame and definition of that. And that's also a, a fault. That's why it's got to be based on principles. It can't be based on where you grew up. It can't be based on your college, your upbringing, your socioeconomic status. To me, a leader is a leader about what they do, not necessarily what they say. Commitment, follow through. If you want to be considered coachable, if I do ask coaching for something in an area that I actually implement what they say, I follow through. Matter things you do, da, 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 da. And I'm not only do I do it, but I do it the fastest. You know, we're not waiting around for anybody. We're not waiting for somebody to do it first and then we do it. Who's uh, coach me to think like that? PBD. The thing is, the way I look at it, bro, if, if I'm not gonna do it, who will? If I, don't, if I don't decide to take charge of my finances, my marriage, my relationships, who's gonna take control? Nobody's gonna give me happiness, I gotta go and get it. Nobody's gonna give me financial freedom, I gotta go and get it. I spent my 30s repaying the mistakes in my 20s. If I decide I want this life, I gotta back engineer, well how do I get there? I've gotta lead myself into situations or opportunities where that can, that can be fostered.
First of all, if you're getting negativity, it's part of the badge of honor that you have something worthy to be hated about. So embrace it, like you're actually doing something. There's so much negativity out there today, people are conditioned to be negative. And part of that is the media. The more the media can paint a picture that you and I may be mad at each other, the more they win. The more we, we realize, man, we're different, and because we're different versus our similarities, white, black, racial tensions, immigrants, whatever the case may be, the more the media will paint the picture that we're against each other, the more eyeballs watch that network, and the more they win. Right? So there's so much negative news out there versus the positive. So continue being that beacon of positivity. But how do you handle a hater when you get one? I handle them with empathy. Like I feel so bad for you. If you look at my YouTube channel, what's the latest video? Uh, 10 reasons why I partner with PHP agency. I got a bunch of comments on that thing. All haters. Watch how I handle them. One guy drops a comment. PHP comp is shit. What's my reply? Man, I can totally understand if you're a salesperson, you would see that. He says, uh, he says, I totally understand where you're coming from, from a salesperson's perspective. I totally agree with you. PHP comp is shit if you're a salesperson. But if you're an entrepreneur, it's the greatest comp out there. Facts. Number one, in three and a half years, I made 2.5 million. So comp is shit, huh? <laughs> How do you argue that? How do you argue that? You can't argue that. But if some people are out there just out there to be negative, just, just go ahead and block them. Especially when some people are trying to just troll you. I just don't acknowledge a troll. Why? Because I don't want him to make a name for himself on my account. But here's the thing with trolls. Is that the type of life you want to live by being a troll? I don't think long term. Appreciate you guys, man. Oh, you guys are. You guys. <laughs>